Another day, another video. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today we're watching a 100. This episode two of the six season. Hopefully, guys have been enjoying the series so far. And if you'd like to watch today's full episode, it is available for free in the link in the description below. Just click on it, put the password in, and enjoy. So, what an introduction to the new season on a new planet. Very, very good. I really enjoyed the the introduction to season six. Just the same way as uh, season five got me hooked. This one again's got me very intrigued to see what's going on. So we did send obviously a crew down from obviously their ship to the new planet. Now here what are they calling it actually planet uh planet alpha is that what they called it so they've gone down they've landed and um you know the colors are amazing to be honest i really did love it the the trees was all red the, you know um there was other trees that was like green mountains you got the planets uh one kind of looked like saturn there you had two of the suns that was crossing over that created like a red moon do you know what i mean like the the sea was like perfect blue it was so good honestly i really did enjoy it um and as he was sat down he was camping he was getting ready for the night Boom, mate. All the insects come. They was being attacked. It was a swarm. Kind of like the gas that was coming in season one where they was obviously running away from it. It was the same again in a similar fashion. But this time, obviously, they realised that if they pulled the flares and obviously held it up, the insects were scared of the fire. Do you know what I mean? And they managed to run away. Now, they ended up running and uh, Miles, he ran into like a force field radiation fence and he was burnt to a crisp. Uh, Clark ran over. She was like, it's radiation. It's radiation. It doesn't affect me. And she just walked through it. It's chilling, mate. Absolutely chilling. No dramas there. There, pulled him across he gave her a cold she pinned it in it dropped the fence they managed to run in he put it up before the insects come but sadly that was the that's the end for him he's dead mate dead and gone so raven she's not going to be happy she's going to be absolutely fuming and sad and then uh, you know it's going to be interesting to see how it affects the character for this season because obviously on the ship she's uh, trying to figure out how to get comms to them because obviously they've lost connection but also she's still not happy with the abbey situation the fact that you know she used the last season to obviously get her med slash help at dioza and then um, you know mccreary and also go against her people put a shot collar on her as well do you know what i mean there's lots of stuff for her to obviously be mad at she was saying her mum was a junker and it never affected her the same way that abby kind of betrayed her again that was deep as well you know abby's uh, trying to save kane which actually managed to actually do that and as he you know was awake and he was in and he was looking out and he was seeing the new planets and it was all good octavia's come in she's argued with them do you know what i mean she was saying it's your fault 300 people died he was saying it's your fault this happened you know you burnt down the algae farm you burnt down obviously all our resources then she was saying it was um you know the doctor's fault for doing cannibalism and he was just arguing between them you know you have to air it out it has to be there it's a new place a new uh, planet you know what i mean you've got to have a new start get all the bad driver out of the way uh but then kane ended up coughing up blood splat it in her face he, he End, he ended up literally i thought he was dead me he he, he was laying the gurney you know blood coming out of his mouth his wounds up like he was opening up again even nyla was like look mate there's no way we can save him got no algae left to put him in a coma he's dying we can't resuscitate him you know abby's trying to give him mouth to mouth he's got blood on her i thought he was gone she was like nah sack this mate stuck him in a crowd pod left him there he's like it worked he's frozen he's not dead he's dying but he ain't dead. Let's get him in there. Let's find a viable solution before we get him out. So again, very interesting. We didn't see anything in McCreary or Dioza and her child and what's happening with that. Or Maddie as well. They wasn't awoken, but was focusing here on the ground. Now, obviously, they've gone through this fence. He's died. They've gone looking. They found like a village, a big massive castle. It's well maintained. Grass is good. Plants are cut. You know what I mean? Houses are nice. No dust. It's fresh. It definitely looks like people have been living there. They're going around, they're looking, can't find anybody. They walked into like a little preschool. They've got like a, a you know, a kiddie book. It's going around telling them a story. Um, and obviously they've realised that once the moon crosses, the insects come out, it's a bad time. There's stuff in the atmosphere as well. It affects you. You could see there, Mora, she's been taken over. She attacked Murphy. She was trying to stab him. And then the ship was taken, mate. So the ship that they come down to the Earth with, or whatever you want to call it, Planet Alpha, has been robbed by whoever's living here on this planet. So I think it was a great introduction to the start the season me really enjoyed it i was pumped for it can't wait for today's episode if you do enjoy it please smash the like it really helps out subscribe if you're new and as always let's jump into episode two of the sixth season of the 100 now we've got the people living on this ground there's two populate play hard to get we both know you're obsessed with me allegiance three outposts mission team alpha day 21 how many species have you cataloged today? 17. Still only three evolutionary branches, insect, rodent, and reptile. One of them eats a berry that tastes like cotton candy. Josie, how many times do I need to tell I you? I didn't try it. I made the kids do it. If we're poisonous, they'd be dead by now. Mm-hmm. Give Dr. Santiago some space, okay? We're building a sanctuary for the human race here. Last thing I need is a broken-hearted geneticist. I have a name for this place. The Latin root of sanctuary. 
Sanctum. I believe you just named our new world. <laughs> Serious about Gabriel, straight on him. No insects, him. Ten to one, it's the eclipse. Think about it. Animal behavior on Earth is affected by them too. Have you ever heard anything like that before? No one has. <laughs> Mom's dying. Jim is mine. <gasps> oh, he's killed her. Yo, me, a new <laughs> intro again. You know, it's different to the last episode. The last episode, we went straight into the intro. Now we've got the 10 minute start. How, how much actually is it? Let's have a look. Six minute start. That was so good. There was an episode of Team Wolf once where, like, we started the episode with characters I'd never even seen before. And I was so engaged and I was so into it. Do you know what I mean? Like, how can you start an episode with people that you don't even know and be interested in the storyline? This is how you do it. It's very good. They tied it into the kind of last episode, how people was kind of possessed, Amore, by obviously it seems like the moon, moon, the sun eclipsing or whatever's going on. Insects was again uh, impacted off it. She was saying that, you know, on Earth, so like literally where I am, insects are affected by it as well. I didn't know that. I am I am literally nowhere near smart. Like most of the stuff that people probably know, I don't. I think that's pretty fascinating as well. Um, that obviously it's the same thing that's happening there. Again, he's come out, he's killed his wife. It looks like he's killed his daughter. I'm not gonna lie, kind of want that that woman, the the daughter, to survive. To be honest, she did get a hatchet to the neck. They seemed like a big gash. But again, I thought she was. She seemed quite friendly. To be honest, she seemed like an upbeat. Kind of give me like a raven type of vibe. Um, I, so I hope she survived. But hey, that was that was a good start. I am getting used to passing you up, Murphy. His wounds are superficial. You're lucky. I'm lucky. Sorry, is that your professional diagnosis? Because if so, <laughs> you suck at being a doctor. According to this, it comes from the plants. It's a children's book. Yeah, but it's coming true. More restraints in school. I'm guessing they're everywhere. We need to separate. Normally need airborne toxins. Uh turn on your friends do you clark echoes with amori Jax is with miller upstairs let's do this now murphy why do you get to keep everyone's keys clark will have mine it flew straight to it yes this is good no messing about yes run Oh, here we go. There's no way they're taking the ship. There just isn't. There's only four of them. We have blood. Right, I'm sorry, right. I, I, I'm all for it. It's good. It's entertaining. They look sick. Their masks look better than the Mount Weathers. But there is no way in the world, yeah, I would believe that four people would take down over 450, 60 people in this ship. I don't care. I honestly don't. Like, they could go in... You shoot your clip, you kill 12 or whatever. You got to reload, you get swarmed. You know, number game, we've seen it last season. McCreary thought he had the numbers, they come in out of you swarmed him, they had to surrender. So it's good, they're coming in. Yeah, as soon as one gun gets fired, people are going to be on guard. This is where Maddie needs to step up. Oh, Dios or McCreary, somebody. You know, Octavius been took out, somebody needs to lead right now, it's going to be interesting. But we can't get out. This mess hall was designed to lock down the prisoners in an emergency. James. You were an apprentice to your mother. She told me you're a better engineer than her. You killed my mother when you burnt the farm and forced us to march into a massacre. Didn't find everybody. There's only about 10 people in that room. Oh, selected few, so not everybody's woke. Dials are now, though. How bad is it? We've been hijacked. Four people in neoprene suits. If they're keeping us in the mess hall, that means they control the bridge. It also means they know you just woke me up. <laughs> Ah, uh, mate, yes, that's true, down. I'll take those details. <laughs> yes, Dials, I mean. Somehow, whenever I'm with you, sooner or later, we wind up here, don't we? And first, you hanged me, and who could forget Lexa? Disposable pawn in your game. Well, was tied up then, wasn't it? Mori in Becca's lab, but she was disposable, too. I can take another look at that wound in the morning. Bullet wounds that I took from saving Bellamy's life from those armed psychopaths you put back in the battle. Fine, I'll be the bad guy. And I'm in charge. People die. I'm satisfied. To start. Honesty. People love honesty. I love it. You gotta get up there now. No, you haven't. Oh, it's pointless, man. You're supposed to. We divvied them up for a reason. Bellamy, what are you doing? Bro, I'm 
was talking about the terrarium and how I think the bugs are an early warning system, like the canaries in a coal mine. Oh. Just unhook me so I can examine. Get off me! Josh, no, what are you doing? What's happening? Ooh. We have no idea how to survive down here. I mean, not being funny, but a kind of way to survive would be staying chained up and not falling for any traps and any hallucinations and anybody going crazy and spazzing out. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, that is literally the best way to do it. They're there for a reason. You're chained up. You had that viable solution. Let's stay here. And we make sure we're all safe. As soon as somebody starts screaming, you shouldn't be unhooking yourself and running after him. It defeats the whole object. He took the scalp. He's done it himself. Okay, they're all crazy. Here go. Open up. Don't you open that door! You need to go back to the school and see if he left any weapons. And you need to open this damn door! Don't let him in. Yeah, that's right. Do what you're told. That's all you ever do. Shut that door! Shut up! I must carry out orders without question. Bring me your head. Sorry, I can't. <laughs> Yo, mate. This has been a good start to the season. You lose, John. Maybe you haven't noticed that I don't need you anymore. Wow, what did he just do with then? <laughs> Yo, before we go into that, I'm liking the camera work, me. I mean, it, this is a British TikToker, like. And the, like, the camera's like from above his head and it looks down and you could just see the face. I, I know like the face is like right in front of the camera. I'm like, he's decent, man. He's like, he's just different. And the vibes is so good. But we had this in the Vampire Diaries. We got to one of the seasons and like, they definitely changed director. I don't know who it was that was doing it or who's decided this camera work, but we started getting like, I don't know, visuals of like a sitter. Do you know what I mean? Like every now and again, you just get, I don't know, like a different background change, a different camera angle, zoomed in on somebody's face. The whole thing's different here. You see what I mean? They chained up and they're shouting and laughing and like going crazy, but like the camera work's just not as as the same it's been since the fifth se like five seasons it's like zoomed in it's covering them they're kind of like laughing and echoing and it's in and out and it's around and it's like blurry and it's, it's good i think this is got I, I think i said this last season after three episodes it was probably the three best starts of the season mate i'm i'm fully like echoing that here as well i, I i've actually really enjoyed how we've done it <laughs> all these people are from the Ark, and they have all lost loved ones in Premphia. They blame me for their sins, even though it was your idea. The difference is, is that I regret it. I only lost because Cain sold this out to me. You lost because you had a battle stubborn plan. Safely to that valley. Octavia, get away from me! To be honest, I think this is a way better solution than living on the Earth and the remaining bit of the planet. Getting this new one, I mean, obviously once it's okay, it's way better. You and Sean make a good couple. Dead mate. You're both soft. Hello there, fellow hijackers. I'm guessing you're wondering where your men are. You can't leverage dead people if they don't know they're dead. Oh, they're smart, dead. mate. This is a woman holding a gun to a handsome older gentleman's head. You stand down and we talk about being friends. Or I kill the first hostage. One, two, three. Bad choice. If my husband is back on this bridge, how much do you care about the people in the mess? We're not letting <laughs> die. So unless you can shrink yourself down to the size of a small child, put on the damn suit, and let's go meet your new wife. Maddie can mate. That's interesting. I'd say, have your kid die also, yeah? That's small enough to get through that pipe. We'll train him up quick 10 minutes, yeah? Combat style, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Maddie, could she fit through it? But... I like how that woman's counteracted with violence herself, to be honest. You know, she didn't fall back and retreat and surrender straight away. She went fight for fight, so to speak. That's some good stuff. And again, Octavia, man, I'm a big fan of you. But the fact is, I can't be having your stubborn ass this season consistently going on how you would have won this war if people listened to you. I thought your decisions was terrible, to be honest. You are the main key reason why you lost that war. People play the factor in it. It's not one person solution. It's a team effort. All of you has made terrible, awful decisions. To be honest, every single person lost. McCreary didn't win. He lost most of his people. He lost the land that he was trying to live. You didn't win. You lost all the people. You didn't get the place what you wanted. Do you know what I mean? You inflicted casualties. Kane, again, he nearly died himself. He again 
killed pretty much 300 of his own people so all of his lost all of them terrible decisions and to be honest he ended up in probably a better place i know right now he's being under attack and this world that you're here planet alpha whatever is it's hard to you know understand what's going on because of all the creatures but what i mean is you've left one place where you had a small area of possible living to go into a big massive place full planet if you can understand it, it's way better. And just get behind it now. Stop being angry. You moved on. It's 125 years ago. Or for you, it was yesterday. But still. You okay? What do you think? It's no use. My father once told me a story about how Your this... father was a coward. Saved us all. I did that. It's me. It's all about me. This is the only annoying thing. You're cowards. Am I a coward? Get dropped. Like Stefan, he felt like he deserved the pain for the actions that he'd done. You want <laughs> this take it. This Octavia's a coward for trying to take an easy way out. Do you know what I mean? She's calling them cowards, but she's kind of the coward. Someone needs to show Michaels are right now. Just sweet chin music right to the head. Can you hear me? Oh, yes, there we go. Oh, is she hallucinating? I'm not saying you're imagining it. I'm saying the toxin is you. You infect people, Clark. And that is next. Take out the knife. Hey, interesting, mate. Maybe you don't really love her. I do. That's it. You have to come deep. There are good guys, Clark. Hey. You're just not one of them. Who's here now, Norm? Oh. Oh, is he come back to normal now? You're speaking into a radio with the power off. There's no indicator light. Clark. How's he recovered? Alright, I'm sound with that. That was interesting. Good scene again. Camera work, I'm liking it. Big fan of it. But what's going on there? Why is he okay now? I thought it would last longer than that. He was maybe was he second to be kind of affected by it? Amora was the first, obviously she tried to kill him and now he's obviously recovered because he tried killing Bellamy. He did try killing Bellamy Murphy. The last clip that we seen him in, he was shooting at him and now he's okay. So again, it's interesting. I liked that scene to be honest. It was really good. I thought she actually did communicate with the ship and then obviously boom, twisted it. Makes me happy really that Clark gets impacted by it as well. So like being a Nightblood's not really no benefit here. Everybody's equal the same. Again, it's very interesting. I'm excited to see how it goes. And as well, you know, what they're going to do? They've got 10 minutes to go and, you know, meet them on a bridge or something. I mean, I, I guess they've got less now. What is their plan? Because Dials has killed two of them. She thinks they've only killed one, her husband. Well, possibly, I don't know. Now she's going to obviously attack these. It's going to be good. But like I said, I wouldn't believe that two people now that are left have the chance to take out this whole ship. It... They could take a few out. They haven't got a gas for everybody. And, um, you know, they would lose in the end. Why is he wearing a helmet? Why are you wearing a helmet? In case he uses the gas. Take off his helmet. Set the metal. Do it now. Yes, my dear. Fuck, he said it. I'm happy. Fuck, he buzzy, mate. She looks like she's in Star Wars. Let me see her face, man. Uh, uh, I'll take care of it. You must walk with the bodies. Nightblood? Ah, the night bleeders. Playing games down here. Like where'd you go? I'm gonna say the same thing about you. You're the one with the gun. You and me? Just a couple guys stuck on a moon, nobody else on it. Do it! Got the knife again. Maybe if they jump in the water it kind of like wakes them up. Now kill yourself. It's not real. It's not us. Here we go again. <sighs> Yo, Bellamy's acting's really good. He looks like he's dead, but he's not. What did you do? This time, you die. Not me. Stop it. And you're killing me. Save me. <laughs> oh, mate, all of them are down. It was just one of them. It had to go. That was good, mate. Oh, I'm liking it. It was good. Bellamy's acting. 
fantastic you know looked possessed that's the thing it's a selling point you know if you're going to commit somebody's got to be able to act it and by acting it he's got to be able to sell it by selling it it gets me fully fully engulfed in it because if i believe it i'm wanting it i'm liking it i'm behind it and also the fact that their night bloods is interesting they're dead there's three of them dead now the mum's alive the fact is i ain't got no problem you all deserve to die the reason why yeah again it's the same in in a similar way They've done the first hit. The people that lived in the place, the people arrived, done the first attack. They did. Said it with the grounders, they attacked Jasper. Said it with Clark, they attacked these when they landed. Said it with these, they've obviously stole the ship, aborted it, and attacked them. Do you know what I mean? The people that live in the places that have been visited, they're the ones always doing the first hits. And what did they expect? You know, stand there, open arms. Thanks for coming on, gassing us, locking us all up, you know, trying to take our ship. Yeah, sound, no. You know, I understand that they're scared and they've got to do what they've got to do. But the fact is, yeah, you retaliate, you die. That's just how it is. You come on, you attack, you lost, unlucky. I'd keep the mum alive, though, because she knows about the living on the ground. Oh, guy is here, look at this. I told you I'm not going without my family. They're not safe here. I'm trigger and let's move. You stowed away? What the hell are you doing? <laughs> Saving my brother. We can begin your train. Oh my. So glad I woke. Dios is staying with you. So where are all these bugs you were talking about? Dead. Consumed by the trees by now. Back here. Oh, why can she walk through? Push off. Oh, she's a night blood. Yo, what's that? I don't know. Yo, there's loads of kids. Where's the adults? Don't be afraid. Are you here to take us home? Isn't this your home? Yeah, I was going to say, that's interesting. I was going to say, well... I mean, if your house is over there, yeah, I'll get on the back, you know, I'll piggyback you all the way over to your gaff up there. But you mean, you know, if you're talking about Earth, nah, mate, that's gone. And you'd be dead before you get there anyway. 125 years away, that place. That's what I'd be saying. But the interesting thing is, yeah, <clears throat> where's the adults? All I seen them was loads of kids. I know there was four adults. They obviously docked on that ship, three of them being killed. I ain't got a problem with them dying. I, I, I don't. You attach them. And like, the thing is, yeah, if they landed on that ship and they sat there, you know, on the floor and was like, look, mate, you know, we're no threat to you. We come in peace, literally. You know, we come in peace. Your people are down there. You know what I mean? The, the One of them's died. They've been attacked. You know, we, we've come here. We're saying we're surviving. We need your help. It would work. A, a better way. I know I've just waffled off the top of my head there. But like, the fact is... Your first approach to anybody, regardless of who it is. If I met you, yeah, for the first time, so I come over and I was like, hi, you okay? Go, I go to shake your hand, my name, yeah? And then you turn around and give me a punch in the head, yeah? I'm going to be like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? Like, get that person tied up or retaliate and fight you back. Like, they didn't engage in a first approach friendly. So what all they've done is attacked and tried to take a ship. The fact is they retaliated in defense and killed three of your people. It's just standard. Like, I have no problem with it. It makes total sense. And the fact is, she's here on the ground. She's acting all, like, sad and upset. It's her fault. It is, mate. It is her fault. Now, the interesting thing is, camera work, great stuff. I'm liking it. You know, it's making me feel impactful, feel like the mood's changing, people's personalities. You know, we've still got Miller locked up. Jackson, you know, Echo and Amore, they're still tied up. Obviously, Murphy here seems like he's infected, though. Don't know what's going on there. He's getting these black lines going up all of his body. I've watched a show before where that happens. Can't remember now off the top of my head real quick what it is. Definitely either the Vampire Diaries or, um, you know, Team Wolf. It's one of them ones, Supernatural Universe. And, uh, you know, I don't think it works, works out well for those people who's obviously been infected like that as well. So I'm interested to see. It's really exciting. You know, we're here now. It's definitely survivable and knew it was. You know, that school, it was clean, it was fresh. There was new paintings in there, drawings, books. I'd like to see where the adults are, to be honest, and where they've been hiding and how often this eclipse kind of happens. You know, they they obviously can live there and they've got their own ways to kind of survive it. 
I also want to know if all these are night bloods. Because if they are, then, you know, Maddie is a commander. She's the person in charge. She's the true rightful ascension. She's got the flame in her. But you can also train the rest of the people up. People will protect them, won't they? They'll do it the same as they've done it last time. They Also, it looks like having that in you is beneficial for walking through that kind of radiation fence. But my question is, how big is that fence? Because if it, if it's a mile long, yeah, what happens to the other two miles that it doesn't fit? It doesn't go around the whole island, so, like, why can't somebody... Like, wherever these are now, surely they're not in a full circle of a radiation fence. And if they are, fair play, but I would need to see that. Because to me, it doesn't look that long. only looked like it was that circle that they first ran in the first time where I was like, yo, I would set up camp there, I would stay there. At least you got a circle protection. Now they've mooched out, haven't they? It's like a full island. But it is interesting. I'm liking it. It's good stuff. Dials is alive. It's helped him. Do you know what I mean? She's a poor person. To be honest, yeah, okay, she was introduced as kind of like an enemy last season. She's fighting out Terry and stuff. But... At the end of the day, what have you got to fight for now? You know, you can't fight for land because you are kind of one of them. That's how I'm seeing it. Like, there's no point in you being an arsehole now and having your side and my side like you did last season. It was trying to fight for my people and your people. Now it's like, yo, man, we all come here. We're all alive. We've all found this planet. We're literally just one crew now. I know it's like Octavia style. If you're not one crew, you are the enemy of one crew. Well, no, do you know what I mean? She's a good person to have on the ship. She knows what she's doing. She takes no prisoners. She'll kill you if you start any shit. That's what you need. True leaders. I always said it with Jaha as well. You always SM back to the top. No matter how far you get knocked down, you'll rise again. You know, the sun is rising. The red sun's rising, it's called. Jaha, you know, season one and two is in charge. Season three is now. So with Ali, season four, he come back kind of like in charge. Obviously, season five, he died. So true senders, true leaders, they do rise. Octavia will again. She might not take the full top spot, but she'll always be up there. So I am excited. I think that they started really well. Two great episodes. Very, very good. Okay, that's going to wrap up today's episode. Thanks so much for checking out the channel today. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Two episodes, two great first episodes of a season, to be honest. Very, very excited to see where we go from here. Fully intrigued about what's going on airborne to obviously control everybody. I would like to know when Amori looks through that little starship hole thing and she kind of like shook her head, if that has anything to do with it. You know, I'm not going to forget about that. I mean, I will definitely forget about it in like five episodes. But right now, fresh in the head, I'm not forgetting about that. She looked like she was impacted straight away there. I'm loving the fact that there's way more people that are surviving on the ground here. Also, do you know what I mean? That little girl said, are you here to take me home? And Clark's like, what do you mean, mate? Is this not your home? What's going on there? What does she call home? Because home is literally where you live in it. There's no way that she's not lived there, so that should be her home. She can't reference Earth or whatever. That doesn't make any sense. It only makes sense of people that have actually lived there. So again, very interesting stuff. Like I said, can't see no adults, just see loads of kids. Um, so I don't know what, uh, you know, what, what's going on. The fact is, you know, only one person survived the attack. You no, know, they dropped on the ship. They tried to do it. Unlucky, a good effort. You know, he's died. Now she's got to work with them. They can't see Clark and Bellamy as the enemy and stuff because not really. Like, the fact is, you can see someone as an enemy when you approach them and he just kill you. Do you know what I mean? Like, but at what, not at one point have they ever looked like, they're the the aggressor or they're not there willingly to listen to you do you know what i mean the fact is yes okay they killed your family but you attached them and people need to she needs to get that in her head like she can't always see them as the enemy because they've done that because they was the ones that infiltrated their ship and went on the initial attack the fact is they've come they just want to live and like you need to be open i understand it's gonna be hard for her now because she's inflicted casualties but that's just the way it is you know what i mean like uh they've come here to try and survive you know a new world and obviously you've come in and attacking them same i can't blame you i'm actually not blaming you don't get that twisted clark done it you know what i mean they done it the grounders as well and they try to protect what they've got but what i want to know is what did they what was he trying to get out of it you know so we had a decent backstory was it this episode at the very start where we seen them you know it was that girl and she was kissing that guy and she ran back her dad was infected she was the one that called it like sanctum or something you know the planet that was last episode's name dad's come out he killed the mum smashed her with a hatchet do you know what i mean shot loads of people a couple of them ran off now like what happened to him his picture is up i believe in one of these houses uh it looked like the same family i seen them twice either it's this episode or last when he was looking so i want to know what's happened to them and if a couple of them survived and if they did where are they now 
who's obviously like looking after all these children you know there's got to be more people because there's loads of houses how do they survive where did they go they got a bunker you know what's in there how's everything like sustainable do you know what i mean um again how often does the earth kind of like change or whatever with the sun i'm excited to just see how we go out from here to be honest i feel like it's got lots of potential it actually really has like a storyline like this can go in any direction you want to take it it's a new place even if you brought in like flying cars and you know you had like floating houses and stuff it's not far-fetched because you're into a new planet new technology new people do you know what i mean new habitats you can it, like if it happened on earth you'd be like hang on do you know what i mean at first when they got their car that rover i was like where they got that rover from do you know what i mean like well how are they driving around because they didn't have it before now you drop here you get flying cars dinosaurs whatever you want I would accept it because it's a new place, new start, new technology, new land. You know what I mean? So, like, anything is possible. I hope they don't ruin it. I feel like it started really well. It could go in any direction, and I hope they take it to the right one and we can have an exciting season. Because so far, it started great, and I can't wait to watch more and obviously find out, obviously, what we have in store for us. Thanks for checking out today's episode. If you did enjoy it, please smash a like. It really helps out. Subscribe if you're new. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers, guys.